Hello, and in this video, we are going to learn how to remove day and month from date of birth. Uh, and you can see here that I have a very simple list of employee data. And what I really want to do is to remove the month and the day from their date of birth. So it becomes a year of birth. Now, some of you might have um, tried various methods. Uh, I've seen my student trying to use a write function. So write, open bracket, tags is before, okay, comma. And then we want Excel to return us with four characters on the right. So press that and then close bracket and then hit enter. And look what happens. Excel is returning us with 7077. What is that supposed to mean? Now, this is because the dates in Excel are quite funny. Uh, it starts from January 1st, 1901. So January 1st, 1901 could be labeled as number one. And then the 2nd of January, 1901 uh, could be assigned a value, which is two. So in this case, 17th of February, 1974 will actually be assigned as 27077 because because if each day is given a value then this is the 27th 077th day from January 1st 1901 so obviously the right function doesn't work but let me show you a better alternative without having to do any messy formula so first select our data range all right so go to number and click on the little arrow here and this will open up the format cells um, dialog box go to custom and here it looks quite confusing but don't worry just uh, delete all that type y y y y four times so this is telling excel that we want excel to return us with the year value and we want excel to return us as a four digit number so that is why we are pressing y y y y four times if we just pressed YY two times, then it will return with the date, but it will be 74 instead of 1974. And now, because there are some employees who, are, who belong to the millennial generation or even the Gen Z generation. So that is why it is a good idea to format the year as YYYY in case you have a very, very young employee joining the workforce. All right, so press OK, and what happens? There you go, problem solved. So I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.